Hi, this is Michelle Fontana. I am Director of Marketing and Development here at San Ignatius Martyr Catholic Church. And I am here today with Sister Nancy, who has been a Holy Cross sister for 65 years. And we're going to visit with Sister Nancy for a few minutes about her vocation and her vocation calling. So welcome, oh, thank, Sister. Thank you, Michelle. I'm very happy to be with all of you and share you with you a very important part of my life, all of my life. <laughs> so sister, first question for you is when did you feel that um, initial tug um, for your vocation as a Holy Cross sister? Actually, the first time I thought about it, I was in the third grade and there was a missionary priest visiting who wanted to know what we wanted to be when we grew up. That's the first time I talked about being a sister. But in my senior year of high school, uh, our homeroom uh, sponsor, that sister, asked each of us what we wanted to do after we got out of high school. And I, I always remember the three things she said. Well, first of all, you can be single, you can be a priest, you can be married, you can be a religious. But if you have ordinary health, ordinary um, energy and uh, you have a, a good sense of humor, maybe religious life is something you would want to consider. And that, that's what first got me thinking about that. I thought, I, I can do all three of those things. That's great. And then how, um, once you felt that calling, how did you respond to that calling? Well, in my senior year, one of the things I did in my senior year, I was in the um, play that we put on every year. And we goofed around when it wasn't time to be rehearsing. <laughs> and I went back and found a big old black cape and something white, and I put it on my head and draped it over, and I came out <laughs> and asked Sister Dorothy Ann what I, what I looked like, and she said, a mess. <laughs> But because, of, because the sisters always joked with us and I was around them after school a lot because my parents worked, um, then I didn't do anything more till it got to be time I had to figure out what I was going to do. And I, I did send in my questionnaire to the Holy Cross sisters, but I also applied for nursing school. And in that summer, I uh, was invited to come for my interview. So that meant I was a, that was a possibility for a scholarship, St. Agnes School of Nursing in Baltimore, Maryland. And um, one of the sisters who interviewed me said, do you ever think about helping people a lot? Did you ever consider a religious vocation? And I thought that was kind of funny since I wanted to be a nurse, but I thought, well, I could be a nurse and I could be a sister. Mm -hmm. So I answered truthfully. Well, then I did not get accepted because that would keep somebody else from an opportunity for scholarship. Mm -hmm. But when I got the one from the community, I was all happy. And my father said, why are you so happy about this? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that's, that's what I got started. That's when I did something about it. And then um, there's a lot of uh, paperwork you have to supply, and there's questionnaires that people need to fill out uh, about you. And uh, that all fell into place. And then the other big step was when I had to tell my parents that I was going. And I don't think they were too happy, but they didn't they didn't really prevent me from going. So I proceeded on to, to get my things in order. Then you have to start buying things you had to take with you. Um, and then I have two younger sisters and my middle sister came to me one day and said, you know, mom and dad don't really want you to go. And I, bold and brazen that I was, said, I don't care, it's my life and I'm going to be out of the house, and I'm going if I want to. And I did. God willing. <laughs> God willing. <laughs> and I did. Yeah. But everything fell into place then, and my parents were very happy oh. afterwards. That's 
beautiful sister through your years i know this is going to be hard because you've given so much and so much time but um can you share with us um one of the most joyful um things about your vocation oh my goodness there are so many because in my vocation, one of the things I wanted to do was to be able to help people in all aspects of their life. When they have problems, to educate children. Uh, I still have a love for nursing, and I've had to take care of my parents and other people. So I've got to use all of the things that um, God blessed me with. And um, I think at this point in my life, one of the greatest things I, I love is being around children. It still is my love. I taught uh, for 20 years, and <clears throat> I've taught the lower grades. I've taught other grades too, but my love is the younger ones. And even preschool, I've done that. They just bring out so much joy, and, and it is a pleasure to serve them. But. I'm going to have more than one favorite thing. Okay. <laughs> I have accompanied many people as they were dying, and that, that, is the, that is a biggie for me because they have given so much to the church during their lifetime, and it's the least that we could do to care for them now. I'll throw a thir third one in. Can I throw? So... <laughs> Working in the parish, <coughs> excuse me, working in the parish is another way that I can help people. I worked in the missions here in Texas and helped people to uh, build chapels. Sorry, I have a cough. <coughs> to build chapels and to begin being able to celebrate Mass and to instruct their children. So that has brought me great joy. So I have a lot of joys. Awesome, that's, that's beautiful. Um, <coughs> the last question for you is how can we as fellow parishioners, as lay people, um, support you and the other Holy Cross sisters in our daily lives? To support us now at this point, I would ask for your prayers that we are able to continue the good work that we have done in many, in many different countries. <clears throat> but personally, I would like you to talk to your children about a vocation, a possible vocation. Expose them to the priests and the sisters, the people that work to provide uh, religious education and that are helping people. And keep reiterating that every year of their life and bring them around church activities because that's what fosters a vocation. And right now, I would love to have as many of you as I possibly could to work for the church. All right, sister. Thank you so much, and um, we will pray for you, and we appreciate your taking time to talk about your calling today. God bless. It was my pleasure. God bless all of you, and don't forget to pray for the sisters.